also to come. Well, few people haven't heard about the Holocaust, but hearing it from someone who saw it with his own eyes is a lesson that some students in the far north suburbs won't soon forget. CBS 2's Marissa Parra went to Carl Catholic High School, where a witness to one of history's greatest atrocities illuminated the lessons of the Holocaust. For these students, the Holocaust is a part of their history lesson. It's just hard to kind of realize that humans have that capability. But for 89-year-old George Levy Mueller, it was his childhood. People would drop dead from hunger. My legs were getting thinner. There was like an indentation. The memories are painful. They used bulldozers to, uh, to put all those dead people, prisoners, into these mass graves. But Mueller confides to the sea of faces the most painful moment of all. Uh, my mother waved goodbye, and uh, that's the last time I saw her. She was getting smaller and smaller, and that's it. Waving to his mother from the kinder transport train was the last time he'd ever see her. He would later find out he and his sister were among 1,300 other kids in his first camp. And when they got there, they were all gassed. And there were only five kids left. George and his sister Ursula were one of the five. He was taken to Bergen-Belsen with Ursula, where roughly 100,000 Jews were murdered. But they both survived and eventually moved to America. Now, while he can, he gives the same talk to a different sea of faces several times a month. I'm still standing here. I didn't go to Sobibor. Standing here as a survivor and proud grandfather to 15 kids with a lesson in forgiveness. I can't go around life hating people. Maybe I'll leave that up to God and I'll just go along with it.